This is a video about how to remove a Thompson bottom bracket from a bicycle. Before I go into the removal technique, let me show you one that I removed earlier from this bicycle and we can go into the general principles of how they work. Note the frame of this bicycle. Um, this happens to be a Kalkoff, a German Kalkoff folding bicycle. Um, you often find Thompson bottom brackets on continental, older continental bicycles. The cup here is what the bearings will move around in. And these are the bearings that will run round in the cup. And they are adjusted by this cone here. And it's all held on by this nut and this cotted crank. So here is the bottom bracket now fitted to the bicycle itself, or at least what remains of it. I'm now going to remove it. The cotter pin is held on with an 11mm nut. Just take that slightly looser, but don't loosen it all the way off, don't take it off. Because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bash the cotter pin out through the hole on the bottom. The cotter pin is made of quite soft metal and if I take the nut off altogether, I risk distorting the cotter pin. So I'm going to leave the nut in place because the nut is hard enough for me to hit with the hammer. Knock it down a bit. Loosen it a bit more. Knock it a bit more. Now I'll just take off the nut and the washer. And I can use a drift to get it the rest of the way out. Now that we've got the nut off the cotter pin and we've bashed the cotter pin down a little bit, we can bash it the rest of the way out just using a hammer and a drift. I'm using a four inch nail as a drift. So I'm just going to pop it in here, bash it with a hammer and the pin will come out. So here we go, that's the pin out. And we can now just lift off the crank and loosen the securing nut. Now this is on the left hand side of the bike and so when the bike is in motion the left hand side will be going anti-clockwise and so these have been designed to be to tighten in an anti in an anti-clockwise direction which means there's a left hand thread on here. Therefore to loosen, we turn clockwise. So take off that nut, take off the washer and the securing cap, and here is the adjusting cone. Same again, it's designed to go clockwise to loosen. Now there's probably a special tool you can use to get these off. I haven't got one, so I'm just levering it out with a screwdriver for the time being. And here we are, that's the cone out of the cup. It's now much easier to handle. Keep turning till it comes off. And there we are. And now we can just lift the whole lot out. That's the bearing that goes round in the cup. Get the frame out of the way. This is the bearing on the other side. And this is the spindle. This area in the frame here, that's just a void, an empty void that the spindle goes around in. And on this particular bike, it looks as though the cone and the right hand crank arm are all, and the chain ring, are all one piece. And that's it. I have just removed a Thompson bottom bracket.